Hi guys, it's just me again. Sorry. Uh, this is me today uh, showing you off my new HP Laser Gen 1100. I think it's Yorid Packard, but I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I think it's Yorid Packard. Oh well. I'm going to do like on my channel. I'm sorry I let my video, my sister let put some videos on it, so. Basically, most I'm mostly gonna do is just do like printers and stuff, trash picked and everything. Okay, let's open it up. You gonna see? Saying that there's a problem. Of course, there's a problem. Half the insides are torn out. I haven't had a time to repair it yet. It had like a plasticky substance in it because I saw the last cartridge that was put in. It and I tried printing it off of it. Bad mistake. Holy cow! It ruined the insides. So now I have to. Clean it out and everything. I wonder if I could print one time. I put in a new cartridge. These things are killerly outrageous. My God. Almost um, $48 to replace this cartridge. Let's see. Click somewhere. $48 just to replace one cartridge on a HP laser dip. They're killer. I, mean, I could buy a new printer for that mile. You can see it's gone up and down. See down. See switches. Should I show you that? See. See my finger. And up. Nope. You're trying to get it so that you can actually see it. Yeah. So that's up and down. This is the HP LaserJet 1100, and I will print out a two test pages. One from the down. See if you press this button right up here. There's a big saw button, push that in, and it automatically starts. Now it's got a warm up procedure, which takes a little while. But almost immediately it starts. Put one out of the bottom first. Then I'll take one out of the top. And I'll even show you what grabs it. Now we have two test pages. This one has absolutely no marks whatsoever. So you flip it over to the front, no marks. This one, the first one that I printed out has a few marks because of that cartridge. I think it might have damp sorry, damaged something in it because it's got like streaks. Oh well. It's an older printer. Okay, but here it is. It's an HP LaserJ 1100. It's got a maximum output of a 600 DPI, which is not pretty bad. It's bad, but it's not that bad. I can live with 600 DPI. Sorry, I'm just trying to get it to stand up. There's my Canon. Yeah, I'll let you see that real quick. It's a Canon MG2120. I'm not getting rid of that. That's a good printer. Got that Walmart for 39 Alright, no, 29 See, as you can see, true laser output. It's got a configuration setting. Uh, so far, it has got 7,598 prints on this print head. So, yeah, it's starting to get old. It's got Windows and DOS. It also has the upgradable package to the network and jet direct and a maximum of 18 megabyte RAM. That doesn't seem like a lot. This video is over 18 megabyte and I've just started. It also has an easy scanner attachment. Oh, there it goes again. See, I don't like this paper. And Yolred Packard. Eh, it's a good printer. I have used it like no, 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 no. Uh, I've used it over a hundred times already. Usually it's just printing out silly documents, but... There they are. Like, silly documents and everything. I got it with 7,000, and I have it now with 7,598. So I put 598 prints on this print head already. So, yeah. Oh, my God. Didn't know I put that many on. <laughs> Rough estimate. <laughs> it's a guesstimate. <laughs> 
but that's that. Okay. There's probably nothing else that I have to say about it. It's a good printer. I definitely would recommend buying one. All right. That's it. That's just my hand waving by. Bye.